AI CAM is one of the hardest problems at the intersection of computer science and manufacturing. I'm Chris Emery, co-founder and chief scientist at Cloud and Sea, and I've been living and breathing this problem for the last 10 years. To understand it, you have to understand how computers think. The core difficulty is that computers can't make judgments. They can't look at a part and go, oh yeah, this is the tool I should use. I should use this cycle. I should use these parameters, these fees and speeds, these options. Instead, they have to crunch the numbers. They have to try a bunch of options and calculate which one is the best for a particular job. This works great for some problems. Ask a computer to play chess, and it just grinds through millions of possibilities for what happens next in order to understand the next best move. But this only works because chess is simple. A few pieces on an 8x8 board, cam programming compared to chess is something else entirely. The number and complexity of choices that need to be made while CAM programming is overwhelming for a computer. Choosing tools, machine direction, feed, speed, strategies, and there's hundreds of options for each cycle. The computer doesn't stand a chance. So how do we solve this? The key is to simplify the problem just enough such that the computer can solve it, but not so much that the result isn't useful. We're not the first to understand this. Feature-based CAM automation has been around for a long time. Simplify the problem to a small number of simple features and a small number of predefined solutions that get applied to those features, and you have something that a computer can handle. But of course, this is going way too far, and you're limited to only a handful of supported parts and a tedious configuration process. To understand our approach, I'm going to explain to you about the latest upgrade to Cam Assist, which we're calling Next Gen Roughing. Cam Assist divides the problem into roughing, which is removing the bulk of the material, and finishing. And this is a great example of a trade-off we've chosen to simplify the problem, but which isn't an oversimplification of the problem that makes the result useless. Our new next-gen roughing further simplifies this by only considering what tools to use, which directions to machine from, and what the boundaries of the operations are. Even a few years ago, this simplification wouldn't be enough but now we're able to exploit new AI techniques and accelerated computing to allow us to pick the best roughing program. This means that next-gen roughing makes better decisions about which tools to use, better decisions about machining directions, and overall gives you a much more usable result with a much faster machining time. It's a huge upgrade that helps our AI generate outputs that are a lot more human. So that's a peek at the technology behind Cam Assist. Now let me tell you where we're going. Cam Assist, it's not a finished product. We're continuously researching AI techniques that will allow the problem the computer is solving to be less simplified and to be much closer to the real world. In the last year, we've added 3 plus 2, next-gen roughing, improved cutting parameters, and much more. I'm really excited for what's to come, and I hope you are too. Come visit cloudnc.com to learn how you can join the AI cam revolution.